Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we're going to be talking about Ark Survival Ascended. Specifically, I'm going to talk about some of the facts of what's going on right now. If all of you don't know, the game is technically out right now. Um, so if you want to buy it, it will be a link down the, into the Steam profile, but you may want to watch till the end of this video. There's going to be a lot of information coming at you uh, and telling you what my plan is going forward. Uh, but if you need to channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comment comments or concerns leave them down in the comments down below i'll try to get to all of them but let's talk about the truth behind what's happened with arc survival ascended first off let's talk about what's happened so far if you didn't know they delayed the launch of our arc survival ascended it is only going to be on pc and then it is going to come out on uh, console right later that's going to be on steam I apologize, PlayStation 5, Xbox, all that kind of fun stuff in Microsoft Store. That's going to come out in November at some point. They don't know exactly when they're working uh, towards getting certification on that. But it is currently out on Steam if you want to go ahead and grab it. Now, let's talk about some of the things that are happening currently on um arc survival and then we're going to get into the biggest question marks coming into it first off people are having huge issues with graphics cards they say recommended is 3080s people are having issues even getting above basic frame rates uh, of like 15 to 50 or even that kind of stuff with 3080s 3090s 4080s high-end gpus high-end cpus 128 gigabytes of ram there is a huge issue um, people are not getting what they need the, the the ui is extremely difficult i have tried out the game this morning if you haven't heard get, get where this is going you're gonna hear it here soon uh, on top of which the servers are not able to stay up there are not enough servers up there are just literally not enough people on the game and even right now if you take a look at it I want to talk about right now is you look at the Ark Survival Evolved. Currently, as of 25 minute go, minutes ago of me shooting this video, there are 39,000 people playing. Within the last 24 hours, there's been 48,000 people playing. And overall, that number, if you look down below, has not really changed. So the same amount of people are playing that normally play Ark Survival Evolved. Then you jump over to Ark Ascended, and there are currently only 55,000 people playing. That means the old game has almost as many as the new game, and that does not even include the the bombshell that is coming. With that being said, I want to talk about my issues with the game. And that simply is right now, this was something that could have been managed. Servers could have been live before they launched the game. Servers could have been tested. The Steam files could have been tested. All the stuff should have been done well in advance of announcing a launch date. They did not have to say they were launching the game today. They could have given themselves a week, two weeks. It could have been any amount of time. Granted, they couldn't go into November due to the contract they have no Tetrado. But overall, they did not launch it yesterday. They could have done it later, and that could have been solved, and that is coming from someone who has worked with it that you can upload your stuff to steam make sure it's correct make sure your servers are running make sure they're accessible do a load test within your company you are no longer an indie game therefore you should have done all this stuff they didn't do it so with that being said let's talk about servers and talk about that contract very specifically or this is 100 percent definitive and i will show you the proof of it the only way you will be able to play arc on extended is one official servers Two, renting a server from Nitrado. Three, hosting a non-dedicated server from your own machine with a tether. Or four, playing single player. That's it. There are no longer going to be any, any private servers available that are not rented from Nitrado. That means you will not be able to host from your own system. That means you will not be able to go out and get it from anyone else. Only Nitrado is the only way to get a dedicated server. And let's go to the proof. So we are jumping into this contract. If you want the link up to it, look down below. But this is from Sale Inc. to uh, Nitrado. Many of you have seen it. Uh, but basically for a period of seven years, therefore considering the exclusivity period, SUSA, Snail Games, Hereby grants Marvius, which is Nitrado, non-transferable global irrevocable right to provide Snail Games and its affiliates with official servers to host and run the game. B, rent out private servers and community exclusives, except for the accepted servers, which aren't there, and license to use the server files, client keys, and any other form of data collectivity, aka the server files. Basically, no one can get the server files except for Nitrado. Literally, that's it. 
You can even look at B, hosting running games on private servers, explicitly including which continue to host RSE and its current conversion shall be governed in 6 and 2. So literally it's saying only Arc SE can continue to host private servers. You cannot host private servers on ASA exclusively. The only way around it is if you already are hosting a Survival Evolved. That's it. That's right. ASA right there will never have private servers. You cannot have a private server. You cannot rent it from anyone else for seven years. And that's what did it for me. That broke the camel's back. The game is not complete. It's an early access. It's a reskin of Ark Survival Evolved, and you still couldn't even get it right. It's as simple as this. They literally did a patch this morning to make sure the dinos on to make sure the dinos on the island on official servers were literally considered number one. We're considered level 150. That was literally one of the patch notes from this server. We've been asking for the island to be 150 for almost seven years now, ever since Scorched Earth Out came out and they capped it at 150. And now they just finally did it after they launched the servers. That's it. I'm out. That's that that bought me. So we can't have a private server. I have to pay for garbage Nitrado servers that don't work and crash all the time, which is what we're seeing on official right now and everything related to that. You can't have a private server. So it's game. I'm out. You win, wildcard. I've already refunded my game. I bought it this morning, and I have refunded my game. I will not be playing Ark Ascended unless this changes. So GG, Ark. You win. We're out. We're going to find something else to play. Good luck. We'll probably continue with some Ark Survival Evolved. I already own the game. I already have the servers, but that's it. I'm out. You win. And I hope all of you see what's going on. So check it out. And I, as I hope you all are, you're happy to have a fantastic day. And we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.